everybody, Ryan here, coming at you with my review of Nosfera 2. I'm sure it's pronounced differently, but I've always that's how I've always pronounced it. Um, but yes, this is the 1922 vampire masterpiece directed by F.W. Murnau, or Murnau, however you pronounce it. Um, it is the German silent film, like I said, from 1922. This is actually not the Blu-ray. I really need to get the Blu-ray, but this is the Kino Video um, restoration with over 30 minutes of supplemental video version, and it still looks very good. Um, considering that the first time I ever saw this film, and many times after that, was actually a very bad quality public domain version. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is actually the unauthorized adaptation of Dracula. And um, it actually was... Um, in some circles, it's actually more acclaimed than the original Jack Dracula film um, starring Bela Lugosi. I still love both. I love Bela Lugosi's Dracula. This one I love for different reasons. The um, atmosphere of this film. This is the quintessential film when you're talking about atmosphere or horror atmosphere. The feeling of this movie gives you that sense of dread of mysteriousness, of like just fear and creepiness. That's just the look of the film. You don't even have to have seen this film, and you've seen shots of it. You've seen homages of it. Um, this film was just so brilliant in how it um, told its story and everything, too. Um, I think when I first saw it, I was slightly let down because I thought it was going to be something grand, but it wasn't until you actually look at the details of the film that it is very, very well done. It's a very good film, and if you can get past some of the fact that the film quality is pretty bad, even on some of the restored prints, because of the fact that, um, I think it's the, the author of Dracula, I think his wife, or a widow at the time, sued and tried to get them to stop production of this film, and I think they actually destroyed all the original negatives and burnt them, um, but some print survived, and that's the print that's still around now, but it's a brilliant, brilliant film, and I actually think it's actually a better adaptation of the novel than um, the Bela Lugosi version, which says a lot. I think it just captures the feel of the book, and uh, the lead actor in it, um, what's his name? Uh, Max, Max Shrek. He does a phenomenal job in the lead role as um, Graf Orlock, who is actually, you know, basically Dracula, but um, I don't know, this is just such a brilliant film to watch, and I highly, highly recommend you guys watch this film. Um, don't let the hype and everything maybe set your expectations so high, but if you could go into it with an open mind and a clear mind with no expectations, you'll be rewarded, but if you go in there thinking it's going to be the greatest film you've ever seen because everybody's talked about it, you may be disappointed because... Um, it is a highly, highly influential film, and it's mainly because of its technical side. But also, I think it's just a great ad adaptation of um, Dracula. So be sure you check it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the Blu-ray Brothers channel for your support. I hope you liked my skit beforehand. And thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.